today's story is called Sheep or Goats. And this is a story that Jesus told and it helps us to think about God's kingdom. One day, Jesus was with some of his special friends, the disciples. And he was telling them all about the day that they would come face to face with God. He was trying to explain to them that God would know all about them. He would know what sort of people they were. He would know if they were people who had shown love in the world or if they had shown broken love in the world. Jesus explained. It's a little bit like a shepherd who has some sheep and some goats. Now, in some ways, the sheep and the goats look very, very different. And in some ways, they sort of look the same. Sometimes we have to look very closely to see whether we're looking at a sheep or a goat. Now, we all pretty much look the same. We all have arms and legs and heads and hands and feet. But sometimes we do do things that are different to each other. We make different choices. Sometimes we might make choices to show love and sometimes we might make choices to show broken love. So we might look the same as each other, but actually on the inside, we can all be quite different. So God will look at us, look at all of the people in two groups. A little bit like the shepherd has two groups, one of the sheep and one of the goats. So I wonder what these two groups are all about. Well, God will look at all of the choices that we have made whilst we are on earth. Choices to show love and choices to show broken love. So what sort of choices does God want us to make with our lives? Here are a few. If you were to see somebody who was hungry, do you choose to feed them? If you do choose to feed them, it's like you've chosen to help God himself. And if you should find somebody who is thirsty, do you choose to give them a drink? If you do choose to give them a drink, it's like you are feeding God himself. If you see somebody who has nothing to wear, so they don't have any clothes, do you choose to give them clothes to wear? If you do, it's like you are choosing to clothe God himself. And if you know somebody who has shown lots of broken love in the world and maybe they've been put into prison, do you choose to help them, maybe visit them? and show love to them to help them to change their ways. If you do, it's like you are helping God himself. And if you see a stranger that needs your help, maybe they are lonely or feeling sad, do you stop to help them? If you do choose to help them, it's like you are helping God by helping the stranger. These are the sorts of people that God wants to share his kingdom with. People that will think, people that will stop, maybe have a look around them. For the people who might be the poorest, 
people that need the most help and be ready to show them love. So I wonder what choices you will make today. Remember, even if we find it difficult to make kind choices, we can always ask God and Jesus to help us. God's superpower, the Holy Spirit, is always here to help us. All we need to do is to remember to ask the Holy Spirit and he will help us. So when you are at school or you are at home or wherever you find yourself, I wonder what sort of things, what sort of people you might meet that need your help today.